it's magic, man. It's just everything together. I don't even know what to say. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. Reacts, and welcome back to Within Temptation Wednesdays. Keeping the train rolling as best I can. It's awesome, guys. I've been having a good time. You're awesome. I love you guys so much. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, and if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light to your day, because, guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You're a warrior. You're a soldier. Stay strong. I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for your event, or you can DM me personally on my socials. But you, you got this. Bro fist, high five. You got this, guys. Now, today's request actually comes, if I can find my mouse here, actually comes from Bart Joe 32 I was actually going to say Bartio, but I can see the J. It's Bart Joe 32 and you had two requests actually a few weeks back for Within Temptation Wednesday, Wednesday is the live version of Iron, which I don't think I've actually listened to that song yet, and I could have swore I listened to Fire and Ice before, but I tried to find it, and I guess I didn't, so I'll be looking that up afterwards, but this feels more familiar, like I thought I did it, but I'm going to film it again anyways. I'll, I'll do Iron next week, thank you Bart, but for now, check the links in my description guys, you won't regret it. Let's dive into this. Where do I like the backdrop? Intensity begins. the dice here gotta get a pause in there somehow dude i love just the you can tell like you can tell there's just a tense tense feel like it's beautiful don't doubt that but it's tense there's a just the hauntingly suspenseful feel to the song as it started like the i want to say there's a violin to start off and then the piano and sharon's beautiful voice and whatever that is in the background, like the, whatever's on the screen there, I honestly don't 100% know, but still. And then of course to just now chime in with the drums that boom, boom, boom. Just, I mean, literally remarking everything I just saw, but I can't help like just already off to a beautiful, intense start. And like I said, of course, already Sharon's voice. Can't help it.
Yes, there you go. Ah, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I thought about pausing in the end. Just one of those. You pick your battles. You pick and I know Within Temptation is really cool about the copyright. I got in one. I got in one just in case, but golly, that was beautiful. And it was one of those, you know, you didn't have to get too into it. They didn't go too heavy. They added a drum. They added a little guitar. But it was mostly one of those just, you take the orchestra with the, with the, that wasn't like an orchestral type drum. That was a rock drum. Like that was a regular drum or like the regular drum beat, but they intermixed it. So like the orchestra with the rock. And... I love when they do stuff like that. And I love that it was one of those, it felt like a roller coaster from the start. It was tense. They had the violin and then it picked up with the piano and Sharon's voice and then the drum kicked in and later on in the song they added a little guitar and the rest of the orchestra and it all just kind of combined and it didn't even explode but you could feel like the whole song just building up and then climax like a like a gentle but small explosive climax like it was a roller coaster but like a, more, a softer one, if you will. I use roller coaster a lot as a term, but I mean this. I mean this in the softest way possible. Like it was not necessarily a kids' roller coaster, but not necessarily the most wild one either. You know, it's somewhere just in the middle. It kind of oh, there's a turn there. Oh, there's a turn there. Okay. I say that I've never literally been on a roller coaster in my life. Not one. I've been on a tilt a whirl. I've been on a Ferris wheel. I never have been on a real roller coaster before and I probably still never will to this day I'm a wuss you can call me out for it I take one look at those things and they scare the crap out of me but emotionally speaking figuratively speaking a roller coaster yes I gotta look this. I could have swore I've done this maybe that's the first time I've checked out that song and I know a lot of you have told me to check out fire and ice in the past and I could have swore I watched them okay now I see the thumbnail for the music video I don't think I did Wow, I think I just, I remember the title from you guys requesting it so much. If you want me to do the music video next, let me know. Well, I'm going to do Iron next, but if you want me to do the music video for Fire and Ice after that, and if there's a music video for Iron, you see where this is going. Let's see. Every word you're saying is a lie, run away, my dear, but every sign will say your heart is dead. Bury all the memories, cover them with dirt, where's the love we once had? Our destiny is unsure, we can't, why can't you see what we had? Let the fire burn the ice, where's the love we once had? Is it all a lie? And I still wonder why heaven has died. The skies are all falling, I'm breathing, but why? In silence I hold on to you and I, but closer to insanity buries me alive. Where's the life we once had? It cannot be denied. And then the chorus again, why can't you see what we had? And I still wonder why heaven has dead. Heaven has died. The skies are all falling. I'm breathing, but why? In silence, I hold on to you and I. You run away. To, you you hide away to the other side of the universe where you're safe from all that hunts you down. But the world has gone where you belong, and it feels too late. So you're moving on. Can you find your way back home? And I still wonder why heaven is that. So the chorus again. Every word you're saying is a lie. I think somebody told me a while back, actually, even before I reacted to it, that Fire and Ice was basically about good versus evil. Whether you mean spiritually or literally in the world, it's about good versus evil in the battle. And... So the first comment actually says, it seems to me like this person is holding on to a relationship with someone who has already let go. It very well could be. The one time I don't want to talk about a relationship, and it probably is. Usually how it goes. Okay, here's Song Tell. Thank you. The song Fire and Ice by Within Temptation is about a failed relationship. Check, please. I'm done. Every time, I don't actually want to call it a relationship, and it is. <laughs> I 
I've had this thing for the, to those that don't know, the running gag for the last few years, I've either said a song is about a relationship or not a relationship, but somebody just had a bad past or they're fighting with their inner demons. Those are the main three things that I always go with. And the one time that I don't say it's about a relationship, and mm, you have no idea how much that irritates me. I love it. It's good. I'm just myself. I'm wrong. Is about a failed relationship and the pain that comes with it. The lyrics speak of betrayal and heartbreak, suggesting that the speaker's partner has lied to them and the love they once had is now dead. The chorus reflects the speaker's confusion and sadness as they wonder why things have ended so badly. The speaker feels they are holding on to their partner in silence and the relationship has left them feeling buried alive, driving them closer to insanity. The lyrics suggest that the partner has run away to escape the pain, but they cannot escape the changes in the world that have occurred since the relationship ended. The bridge implies that the partner may be reflecting on their actions and considering whether it is possible to find their way back home. The song's title, Fire and Ice, represents the opposing elements and forces in the relationship, the passion and intensity of fire, and the coldness and distance of ice. Overall, the song expresses deep hurt and longing for lost love and a sense of hopelessness about the possibility of reconciliation. <clears throat> so the song is literally about a a strong couple that was they loved each other they did but they were essentially i, I want to say they were toxic for each other but figuratively speaking let's say sharon was a good person and the guy she dated figuratively speaking maybe not literally but the guy she was dating was cruel and l broke up with her he decided he just didn't want to be with her anymore and she longed for him. She longed to wonder why he left her high and dry. What happened? What did she do wrong? And he simply, I mean, let's just simply put, he was cruel to her and he left her high and dry. Like there probably was no good reason. He was just a douche. But as time went on, he regretted actually leaving her. He learned to realize what he actually had with her. And basically like the end of the song is talking about them like, she still longs for him. She's still like her heart hurts. It yearns for him. And maybe he's starting to come back into her life. Maybe they can actually work things out. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't want to get back with him. Who knows? But basically the end of the song is talking about, you know, reconciling their relationship. You know, at time went on and he actually, the, the world went on and he actually ended up regretting dropping her he regretted breaking up with her as mean as he was to her he regretted everything that he did and he wants to find his way back to her i gotta say to a small extent i'm gonna say now i'm not a bad person never have been i've made many mistakes of course i don't hold on to those i don't like i know the phrases live with no regrets life is too short but there are still things that i feel bad for doing and I loved my past relationship. Everything happened the way it was supposed to. But we did break up the wrong way. You know, we didn't exactly leave. I, we didn't exactly leave circumstances the way I wanted to. I got my closure, but I still feel bad for those things that I did. And so basically what I'm trying to say is I can relate to this. I can relate to some extent. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Here I want to say it was literally like good versus evil, but it was about a failed relationship, like a toxic relationship. Dang. And again, so freaking hauntingly beautiful, it's not funny. Sharon's stunning voice in the orchestra with the band to combine and back everything up. It... Dude, come on. I... Need I say any more? You guys in the comments let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember, my name is Jeff. Pef Junkies Unite. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.